name is Melissa. Welcome to ESL Teacher Guide and today I am doing kitchen utensils. We are doing Oxford Picture Dictionary, second edition. We are on pages 78 and 79. That's 78 and 79. So what does it say on the top left corner of page 78? On the top left top left corner page 78 it says kitchen utensils kitchen utensils okay so we're gonna learn about the kitchen and utensils is the same as tools so it's the things that we use to cook in the kitchen they're different tools alright so number one is can opener can opener so he's opening a can with a can opener. Number two is a grater. A grater. We use a grater for cheese, for chocolate, for ginger, all kinds of things. Number three is a steamer. A steamer. You can put uh, vegetables or potatoes and you can cook them. You put that over a pot of hot water and you could steam. Number four is a plastic storage container. Plastic storage container. Uh, we also say Tupperware. Tupperware is the name of a brand, a company that makes plastic storage containers, but we say Tupperware instead of plastic storage container um, because Tupperware is the most famous company that makes them. Okay, number five is frying pan frying pan. So if you want to cook stir fry, you can use a frying pan. Number six is a pot. Pot. Okay, if you want to boil noodles or soup, uh, you can use a pot. Number seven is a ladle. A ladle. A ladle is a big, big spoon so that you can scoop stuff. Um, I don't know if I call it a ladle. I think I just call it a big spoon <laughs> or a serving spoon sometimes. But uh, it's a ladle. Number eight is a double boiler. A double boiler. So you have water boiling on the bottom and on the top maybe that's chocolate because you don't want to overheat it. You don't want it to be more than the temperature of boiling water. So you have a double boiler. Two things boiling. Okay, number 10 is a casserole dish. Casserole dish. And they call it a casserole dish because Americans will make casseroles in them. They cut up vegetables and meat and rice maybe, they put it together, they bake it in the oven. So they do it in a casserole dish. Number 11 is a garlic press. Garlic press. So I guess they put garlic and then they press the garlic to crush it. I don't have a garlic press. I use a knife. I use a big knife. I put the garlic down and I take my knife and I go BAM! <laughs> That's my garlic press, but they have a garlic press in here. Okay, number 12 is a carving knife. A carving knife. And I think it's called a carving knife because you use it to cut meat, like turkey or chicken or lamb or ham. I think that's why they call it a carving knife. Number 13 is a roasting pan. A roasting pan. So you put meat on it and then you put it in the oven and you roast and the fat will drip into the pan, um, roasting pan. Number 14 is a roasting rack, a roasting rack. So you put the ham on the rack and then you put the rack in the pan, okay? So it's a roasting rack. Number 15 is a vegetable peeler vegetable peeler so in 15 what you do is you use that utensil and you can peel the skin off of vegetables 
it's a vegetable peeler. Number 16 is a paring knife, a paring knife, and I'm um, not sure what that means. For me, if I had a knife like that, I would use it to cut smaller things, maybe apples or potatoes. Uh, I guess that's why it's called, I'm not sure why it's called a paring knife. In my kitchen, I say small knife, big knife, <laughs> big, large knife. Butcher, what do you call it? Um, I also have a, I don't think they have it in here, um, a very big knife. What do you call it? I can't remember. But anyway, we have big knives and small knives in my kitchen. Okay, uh, next one is 17 is a colander. Colander. Some people might say something else. I call it a colander. Um, Everybody pronounces things a little differently, but it's just when you want to drain the water. Like if you cook something and you want the water to come out, you can use it. Some people also use strainers. That's a colander. A strainer is more wires. Um, this one, colander, is like a bowl with holes in it. Okay, number 18 is a kitchen timer. Kitchen timer. So you can keep track how long you are cooking. Timer. Number 19 is a spatula. A spatula. You can use spatulas when you're baking and you want to mix things together like flour or sugar, butter. Use a spatula. Number 20 is an egg beater. An egg beater. Um, if you have an eggs, you want to beat them. I use a fork. <laughs> But um, you can use an egg beater if you want. Number 21 is a whisk. A whisk. Okay, so a whisk is also used to beat things like eggs. A strainer. Number 22 is a strainer. I told you about strainers and colanders, right? So a strainer is different from a colander. A colander is like a bowl. A strainer is made with wire. Okay, number 23 is tongs tongs. So tongs are very useful, especially when you barbecue. You can use it to pick up things, right? Tongs, like a second hand. Okay, number 24 is lid. Lid. So if you put on top of a pot, you have a lid. Okay. Number 25 is a saucepan. A saucepan. So it's like a pot, but it's smaller and people use it to make sauce, like spaghetti sauce or uh, different kinds of sauces for their meat or their pasta or their food. It's a saucepan. Number 26 is a cake pan. Cake pan. So if you want to bake a cake, uh, you have a pan and you put the dough in and you can bake a cake. It's a cake pan. 27 is a cookie sheet. Cookie sheet cookie sheet is a metal pan and you make cookies on it. You put the cookie dough and you cook it in the oven. That's a cookie, we call it a cookie sheet. Same as like a sheet of metal, sheet of paper, sheet. So it's flat, that's why it's a sheet. Okay, number 28 is a pie pan. Pie pan. So we like to eat pies in America and to make pies we need a special pan so we can put the crust and the pie stuff inside and it's usually round and it's called a pie pan. And number 29 are pot holders. Pot holders. So if something is really hot, you use a pot holder to pick it up. It's a pot holder. Number 30 is a rolling pin. Rolling pin. So you take it and you roll. Call it a rolling pin. Rolling pin is if you want to make a pie crust or you want to make something uh, like muffins. You can also use it for, you can roll, roll out uh, dough, D-O-U-G-H, dough. So you can roll dough with a rolling pin. Okay, and number 31 is a mixing bowl, a mixing bowl. So 31. You have a bowl and you mix 
mix things inside. Oh, and the guy behind the mixing bowls, actually, he's scooping, looks like ice cream. He's cute. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so that's our lesson on kitchen utensils. So go ahead and practice that and learn how to talk about different utensils. For me, the most important ones would be pot, pan. So you can say frying pan, you can say baking pan, cookie sheet if you like cookies. Um, I don't really use whisks and egg beaters and I don't use those. But I do use colanders. I um, don't I use mixing bowls and lids are very important. You know, you can always say, where's the lid to my pot? <laughs> I say that a lot. Um, the uh, peeler is a good one. We use a peeler a lot. And the can opener, the grater, and the rolling pin. Those are really important. The rest, eh. You know, a knife is a knife. You can say big knife, small knife. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so have a great day, practice your English, and thank you for joining me on ESL Teacher. You can see more great lessons at eslteacherguide.blogspot.com. Bye. Thank you, and please visit ESL Teacher at www.eslteacherguide.blogspot.com.